Christ be Jesus and Mary. I think we will understand this parable, but it doesn't hurt to rehash a little bit and reflect on it even over and over again. The seed that falls, well, the Lord is the sower and it's the gospel, his word that he sows, the faith. And the seed, as we know, when seed is full, falls on different places. And so he gives examples of different situations here. Right? Those that fall on the path away from the, the ground itself, where it's just left exposed and does not go in and not, does not grow, and the birds eat it. Right? That's, those are the ones with whom the faith is sown, but it does not take root at all. Those who just don't pay attention at all. And basically they are lost. Right? Then those that fill on, on rocky ground, no soul, well they can't take root either. And it doesn't make, take much. Then it's lost as well. Here he uses the example of the sun scorching it. It doesn't take root. It doesn't take much at all. Much persuasion, all the soul is lost. And then those that go around the thorns, okay, all the trifling trials and difficulties of life. And once again, that choke out the faith. We're not careful. And finally, that that falls around on the good soil, where it is, it is take, does take root, and it grows and it produces fruit. And we are all called to produce fruit. Those are the ones. The faith is sown. We nurture it. We pray. We reflect. We work with it. We nurture it. It grows. It produces fruit. <coughs> There's where we need to find ourselves. Make sure we're on that good ground. We are nurturing that faith. Right? Watering it with our prayers, tilling the soil with our penance and our practice and our penances, our penances, such that that faith grows. And then it produces fruit, more souls for Christ. <clears throat> now, today we celebrate. Perhaps he's a martyr who perhaps is not very well known. His name is Apollinaris. And the tradition is he was consecrated bishop by St. Peter himself and then sent to Ravenna, which is in Italy, more towards the south along the east coast. And he was made bishop there. And then as he began his work, he was rejected and he was forced into exile and, he, and forced off, I believe, to Crete, I'm not certain, but an island off the coast of Greece where he was, again, with the by pagans who did not have the faith as hard as he tried to sow it, was persecuted, beaten, tortured, eventually made his way back to Ravenna. And this happened several times. And he continued very hard to produce that fruit, to make the faith grow, till finally he was martyred. <clears throat> and so one who sought his whole adult life, his whole life as bishop, to bring that faith to the people to whom he was entrusted. And hopefully, well, evidently he did bring some fruit but I'm sure he would have loved to have brought more if he would have been accepted. We must pray a lot and offer many penances. And we must be prepared for what we too will face. Our Lord has told us in the Gospel, we will, be, we will suffer persecution. We will be hated by those who hate him, who reject him. And does not be among them, but be among those who have embraced him and are willing to embrace the sufferings and the trials that go with it just as our Lord embraced his cross. Even if we don't see the fruits, 
knowing it will produce fruit. We are growing in our faith, in our love for Him, for God, that will unite us with Him in paradise forever. Praise be Jesus and Mary.